My name is Joseph Grady, and um, I am the producer and writer for the film Return to the Blanket. I've wanted to do and get into film as an actor, writer, producer um, for a long time now. And I've been cultivating that along the way. So I've acted in film and so forth and uh, broke into film and then started meeting people within the industry. And that's been all with the goal of incorporating a background in Native American studies and social work to plug into um, film important message and storylines of indigenous experience. It's the whole goal of it. My name is Amanda Bear Medicine. I am the director of Return to the Blanket. This is my very first time ever directing a film or a documentary or producing anything such as this. I, I've never actually gotten a chance to be a director. I've been around it for like three years now. I've been an actress. I do all that, but I've never gotten a chance to actually like, you know, have a say, have all full control and go forth with it and actually be able to lead something. So it's, it was a little, it's a little nerve wracking, not gonna lie. <laughs> The moment that Barbie, my grandma called Barbie, and um, she came over, and having her there sitting in the chair and talking to Joseph. That's in that moment, having her tell him about his lineage and where he comes from and who his family is, and letting him know that, you know, they're relatives, that, you know, that's blood. That's when it hit me hard because it was so emotional. It's such an impact for both of them, for everyone actually, just in the room watching the film in general. That's when I knew that that was it. We did it. That was the, you know, icing on the cake. That was awesome. When we sat and watched the rough cut for this, which was very similar, didn't have some of the shots and so forth, and the coloring was way off and the sound was whack. And, but still, when we watched it, I mean, Bear, there was the first time Bear got to see it, it's the first time I got to see it, and um, the family that is actually in the film was down visiting. And so we all come in at my house and we, you know, we ate a bunch of food. We got like, you know, food and indigenous people like go hand in hand. And so we had this big feed. Um, and then put it on, expecting to see a rough cut. Uh, but even in that moment, um, without all of the coloring redone, it was, we were just immediately blown away. When we saw this, the rough cut of this up to where it is now, I just see the, now what is a proof of concept for a much bigger telling of this story. I'm still very much in shock at this moment in time. I'm, uh, I just have so much gratitude and I'm very blessed and grateful and happy. And it's, I know it's a big deal. It's just, it hasn't hit because I, I don't know what to expect, I guess. You know, it's my first thing. So I'm just, I'm not used to it. To be able to be a part of his story and have a voice the way that he has been wanting to, to portray it, and me being able to capture it for him, I'm very thankful for. Thank you.